There you are. Yes. Oh, it's a nice fish, folks. It's a really nice fish. Holy crap. What an awesome January day. <laughs> How you doing, folks? I'm doing pretty well. <laughs> I have taken the day of PTO. I handled some business at home. I need to handle for the family. And now I am on the way to take advantage of this abnormally warm weather to see if I can get my first snakeheads of 2023. So I'm hitting Maryland's Eastern Shore. I'll give you a recap of the gear once I hit the water, and then we'll go catch some fish. Let's go. Float down. There it is. That's a snake. That's a snake all day. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody, stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm. Wait, 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 wait. That is a snakehead. It's our first snakehead of 2023, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Let me reverse us. Let me reverse us. There she is. Our first snakehead of 2023. Not bad either. Not bad. Yes, sir. Heck yeah. Mission freaking accomplished. That's the whole, my whole reason for coming out here today. We've had these warm spells, these three, four, five day warm spells. This water temperature now is in the 50s, mid 50s. When I launched, it was high 50s back near the bridge. So long story short, folks, these snakehead are out and feeding. All right, now I will very happily need my lip rippers. But let's do this while we're waiting. We just located that one snakehead, right? I'm gonna put it over here to see if I can try to find any more in that same vicinity. I doubt it. But is it worth a shot? Absolutely. A few moments later. She's had plenty of time to recover her strength, so I'm sure she's gonna freak out in a minute. Yep. <laughs> This is not your average January snakehead. I've caught them this time of year before, but usually in much harsher conditions, much harsher weather. This snakehead right here, it's got plenty of energy because it is not that cold, folks. It just is not. There we go. Well, I got him unhooked. There we go. By no means a giant, folks, but he is the first snakehead of 2023. <laughs> well, folks, in a way, the 2023 snakehead season has begun. <laughs> Little beauty. Ah. He mangled that minnow. He actually broke my line in the net. <laughs> I can tell I'm snakehead fishing again. So if you don't know anything about snakehead, let me tell you. They are tough on gear. Boy, they're tough on gear. I gotta retie this whole rig. Worth it though. <laughs> Definitely worth it to get my first one. Of course, then I gotta bend this hook back straight. See, so bent all that, that all up in the net too. Well, folks, I really hadn't been getting anything on the Z Man Bullseye spinner bait. So I went ahead and tied on the real all-american curly and i just had my first bite showtime woo! 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 short strike but a bite nonetheless i'm gonna see if i can get her to either come back or eat these minnows because it was not a small fish it was a big fish Big fish. I saw her rise afterwards. Well, folks, my GoPro jacked up, but I just got my second hit. No, third hit. So far, I've had one take on the minnows, which I landed, one short strike on the real All American, and now one short strike on the Z Man Bullseye spinnerbait. I hooked the fish and it was fighting really weird. I was like, what the heck is this? It is this a gizzard shad. Hooked them right through the back. 
<laughs> Come here, you stinky thing, you. Uh, my buddy Jared finds out I threw that back. I'm going to be in big trouble. <laughs> That's the cat bait extraordinaire right there. God, those things stink. No wonder they're good cat bait. Gizzard shad, freaking stink. That was almost assuredly a snakehead. There you are. Oh, no! No! <sighs> Missed that snakehead and that one like the other two strikes were short strikes that one I lost that's on me I just did not get a good hook set on him look at it out there I gotta get out there I need one more cast in here and I gotta go out there those fish are just moving all around out there. I don't know what they are either. It seems like at least some of that movement is feeding. There you are. Yes. GoPro, start recording. Oh, it's a nice fish, folks. It's a really nice fish. Holy crap. That's a really nice one. When I say she crushed it, I mean she crushed it. And that is on that Z-Man bullseye, folks. Pair with a diesel minnow. Come here, gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Whew. Heck, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Put that right there. Just long enough to get anchored up here. So I've been seeing a bunch of commotion out here. Finally made it out here. First cast with my spinner bait. And she nailed it. And I don't know if you noticed the nuance in that hook set. I played it just right. Like I didn't set the hook right away. I didn't wait too long. That's a prime example of when you're using subsurface about how I think it's best to set the hook after you feel that initial hit. Oh yeah. That's a good fish, folks. I think that's a high 20s fish. That one hit like a ton of bricks. There we go. Yeah, buddy. Look at that, will ya? You beauty, you. You absolute beauty. Oh, and there's snakehead number two of 2023. I'll get a measurement on this one. She's worth measuring. I'd estimate and say 25, 26. Crushed that Z-Man bullseye. I mean, crushed it. Been watching these fish play out here in the middle for a long time and I've been thinking to myself, at least every now and again, it does look like an actual hit as opposed to just fish swimming around. That was correct. Uh-oh. I think my other floats down, and I think there were bubbles. Yup. Yup. Snakehead. Snakehead. I'm just living the dream. <laughs> Big time. Heck yeah. Oh crap, my other float just went down a little bit. Another snake, baby. <laughs> Come here, you butte. Yes. Number three of 2023. That float over there is just, that thing's just crazy. I don't know what to say about that. That's two fish from over here. I might as well put this one in the same general vicinity. Give it a better chance at getting eaten. Oh, what an awesome day. I knew it'd be worth it. Oh man, I knew it. Oh, I knew that there was a very good chance that taking this day off would be worth it. When you get conditions like this, if you can make it happen, oh, you gotta make it happen. 
I mean, if you can't, you can't, you know. Don't put yourself in a bad way with work or family or anything else, but if you have the leave or something like that, and the op tempo is such that you can take that leave without your work being hamstrung in some way, man, you gotta go. It's days like these in January are few and far between, and the snakehead are loving it. Thank you for your sacrifice, little buddy. He's running. He does seem to be running. And I do it yet again. Follow too. Oh, buddy, it's about to go down, folks. I think it's about to go down. I gotta put a minnow over there because I definitely just saw bubbles come up. And they weren't carp bubbles or turtle bubbles, they were snakehead feeding bubbles. Yep, right around there. Fish, fish on. Let's see what. Thick in the snake. Could be a big crappy though. I don't feel head shakes. Or do I? Can't tell yet. Oh, it's a good fish. Whatever it is, it's a good fish. It's gonna be a bass, is that it? Nope, it's a snake. It's a snake. It's a snakey. You didn't fight like your average snakehead though, did you? I got you, buddy. Heck yeah. <laughs> That'll be number four. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pretty sure it's got blood and slime all over my face. Oh, for those of y'all wondering, these are my glacier gloves. If you saw my DPS video, where I did a walkthrough of Delaware Paddle Sports, then you've already seen me talk about these gloves. But, boy oh boy. There you go. They're nice and comfy, even on your more mild days like today. And they have those finger grips, those exposed fingers for maximum manual dexterity. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, beautiful. Now you'll hear me talk a lot about trailing a minnow behind me during those colder months. This is exactly why. That's exactly how I got this fish. Number four. All right, circle hook. Let's do that again. What the GoPro highlight. Oh, she crushed it. Oh, I should have had the video running. God, she crushed that freaking spinner bait. Come here. Gotcha. Ah. Oh. Holy crap, did she crush it. Right off the boat, too. Oh, I needed that. It's been a long time since I had a hit. Boy, she crushed that thing. Oh, that was a good hit. <laughs> oh, man. I have missed that snakehead thump. Boy, I've missed it. How do you have this caught in here? Oh, yeah, she got my lure in there real good. Okay. I will have to put this fish on grips. Get her off the hook, and then get my lure out of this net. There we go. How did you get this? What in the world? I swear to goodness, snakehead do things that are like, <laughs> you would think are impossible. The way he's got this stuck in the net, I'll see if I can get a picture of it for you, but it makes no sense at all. Look at that, will ya? What an absolute beauty. Thank you so much for your sacrifice, buddy. How in the name of all that is holy did you do this? He actually got it through the net. I hope the camera can see that. I don't know how. He got it through the net. It must have went up around here. Either that or he opened it and then closed it again? What in the... 
<laughs> Freaking snakehead. There we go. Now just to reclip it. There we go. Okay. Z-Man bullseye spinnerbait back in action. Let's put you out of the way over here. Kind of out of the way. I gotta get my rod out of there. There you are. Fish on. Oh, it's a snake too. Fudge. Fudge muffin. <sighs> Did not get a good hook set on that one. Did not get a good hook set. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Snakehead. Got him. That is why I generally prefer the circle hooks. Fudge freaking muffin. What's up, bro? What's up, man? The snake's biting? Uh, yeah, yeah, they're biting. I got five on the stringer, and I've probably lost or missed probably six more with only th only three of those, though, I blame on me. <laughs> the rest, the other, other, two, or other two or three were just short strikes. What are you on? Uh... Catch some allures? Uh, some loo- Oh! Fish on! Fish on! There we go! There's a snake! GoPro, start recording! Oh no, it's a bass! This this one's a bass! My first bass of the day! So I've, I've been- GoPro, record! <laughs> Come here, bassy! Come here, bassy! That's a nice bass, too! I wish you hadn't ran into my other line, though, you jerk! <laughs> Let's see if I can- Unhook it. Ah, I got you good, sucker. He's got to be all every bit of 18 inches. He's a good bass. Cause I, I thought it was gonna be a snake because I had just lost a snakehead in the same spot. January snakehead. Does it get any better? I don't think it does, dude. <laughs> like the only thing I haven't done yet is try to catch one on top, but that's really because um. Like that's not I'm not finding them up against the shore, you know. Yeah. Like I'm I'm finding them out of ways. But here, let me get let me get one more shot of this beauty. What a beautiful bass. Yeah, she gotta be. I mean, she might not quite hit 18, but if she's not, she's like 17 and a half. Really nice fish. But yeah, I've gotten most of the fish. On oh, other floats acting crazy. I've gotten most of the fish on the. Actually, I think it's half and half, dude. I think it's like half and half between minnows and uh, lures. Nice. See, man, I, I was thinking, I was like, should I call him? I know he's fishing. I don't want to bug him. But every time I call him, you end up catching a fish, so. You know, you, that's you and Adrian, bro. Like, when you and Adrian call, that's when I catch a fish. <laughs> that's great. I'll call you back in an hour. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, dude. All right, man. All right, bro. Later. Nice bass. Not what we're here for, but a nice fish. Come here, you. This poor guy has clearly been caught before. Came right off this beaver lodge over here. Take that right out for you. Here, let me see if I can give you a minnow. I doubt you'll take it, but I'll try. Because you could use a couple. There you go. And he, he didn't really take it. Like, is he just like, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. There we are, fish on. Fish on, doubled up. Or do we count those double up? I don't know. You let me know at home if we count those double up or not. <laughs> what do we have? That's who I was looking for. That's who I've been looking for and haven't been able to find yet. Those big old slabs. There's a slab delicious. Heck yeah. That is a nice crappie. <laughs> and now I have hit the trifecta. 
If I can get a pick roll, I'll call it a Grand Slam. I can't say enough how I love these big slab fish. Oh God, I love these giant slab crappie. What a beautiful fish. I'll get measurements on it right now because I'm pretty darn sure this fish will be an upgrade towards my Grand Slam in the CCA tournament. But here, let's do this. Let's do that. Let's get a new minnow for this other rod over here. The real bigs are getting scarce now. They're getting scarce. It's not good. All right, come here. She'll come in at a little over 13 and a half. Got her. Oh, what a day. One last thing, I always rave about the forage base on this river. Look at the shoulders on that crappie. I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna break some hearts in a second here, but I'm about to let her go. Look at those fillets, you see that? Good God, they eat well. Look at that. What a freaking beauty. Oh, thank you so much, buddy. There you go. What a freaking chunk. Uh, as soon as I turned the camera off, as soon as I turned the camera off, she crushed it. I mean, as soon as I turned it off. Whew. Oh, numero seis. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Whew, she came out of that thick stuff over there. Out of the skeletonized root system of this spatter dock. At least I think that's what it is. Later in the year, this will be a giant pad field. And I do mean giant. That was a good fighter too. Man, she fought. Uh, you working on breaking my spinner bait, huh? I see you. I see you, you jerk. Yeah, I know, I call you the jerk. I'm the one who caught you, right? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. All right. Got her on grips. Heck yeah. What an awesome January day. <laughs> there she is. Another solid fish. Thank you for your sacrifice, buddy. Hey, baby. Okay, how's it going? Uh, it's going pretty darn good, actually. <laughs> yes, how about you? I'm going to go pick up the kids. Going to go pick up the kids. All right. Yeah, I'll probably got about another 30 minutes of fishing left at most, just because of the sunlight. And then I'll be on the way home, but I'll be coming with fish. Hey, hey. Rashawn is jelly. Mm -hmm. Not that I blame him. I'd be jelly too. <laughs> All right, baby, love you. Love you too. Bye. But folks, man, that is one heck of a day for freaking January. Oh, man. I could not have asked for much more out here. 50 degree, not even 50, close to 60 degree air temperature. And the water temp right now is at 56. I'm not sure I've started the year this early with snakehead before or not. I'm sure it's a close call to go back and check my videos. <laughs> Thank you to my wife, first of all, Adrian for covering down so I could make this day happen. To recap the gear and techniques, I'd say the fish that I caught today were probably close, at least the snakehead were pretty much close to half and half between artificials and minnows. I did catch as well a bass on the bullseye Z-Man spinnerbait, and I caught that one slab crappy on a minnow. Now I'll leave links to the types of hooks and everything I use in the description. One rod with minnows was on jig heads, the other was on a circle hook. The bullseye spinnerbait is paired with a four inch diesel minnow in pearl color. For my casting rod, that bait caster, that's a St. Croix Mojo Bass spinnerbait rod. That's paired with the Shimano SLX DC reel, 40 pound Berkeley X9 line. And I think folks, the rest is history. <laughs>
Thanks very much to Delaware Paddle Sports again for this sweet ride. It's working like a freaking dream out here. A 360 drive, the way I can just go in and out and around all these obstructions so much more easily than I ever have. <sighs> That's gonna save me so much time going forward. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, folks. If you did, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and have a good one.